Last time on the Dave and the Carl Show. Yeah. All right, so I'll be in New York in not too long from now. Well, we just gotta move on it, man. Yeah, I'm about to leave Philly now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Gotta be fucking kidding me. You know, it was a situation between my cast and crew. I show up on set and it's like everybody's bugging out. Bruh, son, please, bro, don't come outside. Cause this guy over here acting crazy, son. I don't know who this nigga is. Man, I don't know, we probably gonna have to go to LA without this short. We can't go to LA without a motherfucking quality product, man. So that's out of the question. That's out of the question. I don't know how you have all these people doing all this, whatever the fuck y'all supposed to be doing, and you can't even get a fucking scene done, or whatever the fuck. Everybody got problems, everybody. Come on, man. This is not how it works in the business, man. This is not how it works in the business. She was getting ready to interview Waka Flocka. She oh. needed somebody to come over there, you know, be a camera operator and edit a quick video. I said I could do that, it's no problem. Oh. David, on the other hand. Cinematographers and shit like that, we have to pay for that quality of work. We have to pay for that. It's no, it's no, yo. This, this, that, or whatever, whatever. No, it's none of that, fam. It's yo, you guys present yourself a certain way and you want a certain quality, so you gotta pay for that quality. And that's how it is. But it's not asking for much. Not asking for much? Let me tell you something, fam. Anything where it takes time consuming out of a fucking day that could have been done with something else to build a purpose is asking for much. If you're not at least setting a standard at getting paid, for the least amount that people is getting paid to do the kind of services, it doesn't make any sense. Now, if you know somebody or whatever the fuck, yeah, yeah, and that's my friend or whatever, this that, then yeah, you'd be a little bit more lenient on the price. But it's like, for the price that's being given right now for that, it's more than a steal. It's more than a steal. I got. I wanted to do a favor for her. You know, she been there for everything I went through. So I was like, why not? Let me do this favor for her. So I go to the city. I just go to the city, I go through everything. I wait for the train, I'm sitting in the train, I'm listening to a Mexican band playing in the train. I get to the city, I'm walking all around the city, and what happens? The shoot got pushed back to 8 o'clock at night, out there 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That was the big problem. Now, how did that look when I go, up to, go back to D and tell him, yeah, you're right, I should have done the shoot because it was nothing with all time. I figured, all right, you know what? Since I'm in the city, I might as well do some work while I'm out there. So I went to the New York Mayor's office to film, got some paperwork for the movies we're working on, some insurance papers, some permit papers. So it's not like the day went to waste, you know? I mean, more could have been done, and I didn't even get to do the gig or get paid, but at least I got some work done. All right, you was right. The whole thing was a waste. I went to the city and the shoot was canceled. But I did go to the mayor's office of the film, got some paperwork for permits and insurances. I got something I'm done at least. That's what I was telling you, man. I told you that. I told you that it was going to be a freaking waste. Normally, you're supposed to get paid ahead of time, and and and, and then and then and then you know that it's a, it's a it's a serious situation. People already paid you, and they got to make sure that everything is set up, or else you get a notification. But by then, you already got paid, so it's not a problem. I feel like you're getting any kind of real money or something like this. Here it is. I'm going through the business plan. And 
going through other shots and things of that nature and you out there doing something that not even paying you to write a, a per diem anyway in the first place and then not things is canceled and people don't show up and at the end of the line it's a wasted day it's a wasted day you can't be going around doing things freaking free practically and things being canceled at the last minute so now a whole day is wasted not realistically wasted but it's the fuck it's of it's no use it's of no use and we could have been doing other things we could have been doing other things and now it's like come on man you go out there for nothing it's like it's like wow man it's wasted energy man it's wasted energy we don't have time to be going places, doing things, and not actually getting what we're supposed to get, first of all, and then second of all, uh, 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 I'm a wasted day? Wow, that shit is amazing. That's why people most of the time get paid ahead of the time. We got people calling in the studio right now to try to get things done, and it's like, come on, man. This shit doesn't make any sense. Next time on the David and Carl Show. Things are not going well. Production was put on hold due to casting and budgeting. I broke David Sony DSR 11, which is the mini DVCR, and that kind of really sets us back in post production for the previous projects that we just finished working on. Uh, David's gonna kill me. It's like it's so hard not to bug out and just spaz out because of so much that's going on. Mm -hmm.